position there. In your ready position, make sure your elbows are more away from your body. You're going to turn and pause. Have your arms. Let's see how it goes. Let's see, you're turning. Not bad. Let me just change some of the things. Um, So it was a bit of a low feed, so let me do another one. Okay, let's see the next one. So you're doing a split step, which is great. You want your elbows a little bit further away from your body. You're going to turn and pivot. It's going to go past your eyes. Now with your left hand, you want to be a little bit more near the net post. That would be better if you can. You're getting below the ball. Now look at your hand. Your hand itself didn't really get that much below the ball. I want your hand to go near your knee before it comes up. Now do you see how you're hitting the ball in line with your body? I would prefer your contact point to be more out in front. So it's in front of your front knee or maybe your foot. Maybe about here and not next to your body there. You hit through the ball, but I want you to be hitting with the hip and it should already be turning. So you're doing a little bit late on the delayed side. I want it a little bit more current. So you want to be, as you're hitting, getting the hip out of the way so you can swing through and hit it more out in front. Let's see one more. Past your eyes. You see how the elbows are still tucked in? I want your elbows to be a little bit more in front of your body and not inside like we can see now from the side. It's not bad, it's a nice take back. You're not doing the turn and loop. You see how it's actually a nice loop swing now? But you've got to get more below the ball. Catch, you've got to hit it with the hip and turn. Not bad, Avery, that looking good. Let's see, I think it's Sophie. Okay, so let's see your ready position. You want to keep your racket head chin height so when you turn you're just going past your eyes or a little bit higher loop so you can activate the, the gravity loop. Let's see. There's your ready position. But you see how the racket is dropping past your knees. You're looping down. You're stepping back and then you're stepping forward. Now look carefully at your left arm. Do you see how your left arm, if you're here, it's getting behind your body like that. Watch. Instead of going like that, your left arm is now opening up beside you. So try and keep your left arm a little bit on the side of the body, even though when you're coming through to hit the ball. You're making contact a little bit more out in front, which is good. All the weight's going forward and you have a nice follow through, but I really want your head to be leaning forward and your weight transfer, you want to be leaning forward as you hit the ball. So try and get more of your body into the ball. But very nice, Sophie. Let's see another one. Remember your racket, you always want up. Now for the racket back, I, I want it to be there. I don't want it to be turning back and then zigzagging back through. So that's one thing we definitely want to fix up. Catch, leaning forward, get your head forward, watching contact, nice follow through. Well done, Sophie, that looks pretty good. Bella, this is the second time you're going to be videotaped. So you'll see the same forehand. Let's see. You have your ready position. You've got your take back. Now this is one of the areas you want to focus on that left hand. That was a much better forehand because you see there's no backswing. You're just from there. You just went forward. A great contact point. Straightening your front knee and your weight going forward. So that looked very good. That is actually one of the best forehands I've ever seen you hit because you didn't have so much of a backswing on your back loop. In fact, that's a great memory to have. Let's see this one. Oh, that's a little big. Now you see how that happened? You see how the butt cap of the racket is actually facing the TV screen? You want to make sure that you just have the racket like that. You don't want to have too much loop here because this is where the racket gets behind you like that. So that's one of the things we've got to watch out for. And then you step through. I'm sure it's a great hit more out in front. Nice looking style. Nice catch there, Bella. Bella, the style is looking great. Thanks very much, Bella. You, you're doing really well. And all your girls, keep it up on Monday, and I will speak to you soon. Bye-bye.